If I could please ask everybody to take your seats, silence your cell phones in preparation of the bell ringing ceremony in honor of our valedictorian in recognition of our salutatorian. I'd like to remind you at the conclusion of our ceremony, graduates are instructed to meet families in the courtyard outside.
Would everyone please remove your caps and join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you, you may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Bushnell Prairie City High School class of 2022. I ask that you please excuse our clutter. We have a lot of renovations happening this summer and time constraints would not allow us to wait to store some of our furniture. I am Jerry Butcher, principal of Bushnell Prairie City High School and I am honored to have the privilege of opening this ceremony today. I would like to begin by introducing members of our Board of Education seated to my right. Board President John McCleary, Vice President Jonathan Miller, members John Oakman and Devin Kajiki. Also seated to my right is Principal Donna Daly, Principal Nathan Harrison, and Superintendent Dr. Kathy Dinger. To my left and dispersed about are some of the teachers and staff who helped make this day possible. Mr. David Arnold, Ms. Vanessa Williams, Mrs. Samantha Sherwood, Ms. Mackenzie Rico, Ms. Hannah Edwards, Ms. Amy McGowan, Mr. Jacob Johnson, Ms. Kimberly Wrench, Ms. Lauren Settles, Ms. Carla Williams, Mrs. Shanti Willie, Mr. Stephen Sargent, Mrs. Sheena Bowden, Mr. Andrew Kleesner, Mr. Andrew Rodifer, Mr. James Melvin, Mr. Chad Blair, Mr. Jacob Schisler, Mrs. Stacy Allen, and Mrs. Andrea Ferguson is directing our band today. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank all parents, family members, and friends for their love, support, and patience during the journey our students have traveled in order to get to this point. Graduates, it has been an honor for me to serve as your principal. This past year and a half. I wish you a lifetime of success, happiness, and dreams come true. <clears throat> Finally, it is my honor to introduce some special guests here today to help us recognize our honor graduates and our top 10, our Miss Daly and Mr. Harrison. Ms. Daly, will, Ms. Daly, will you please come forward? The following students of the class of 2022 have earned a grade point average of 3.0 or higher and are designated as honor graduates. Please stand upon hearing your name and remain standing until all names have been called. Brian Bittner. Grant Braun, Hannah Brent, Hayden Brent, Jake Brown, Carol Carpenter, Emma Corsi, Anna Curley, Hannah Eden, Cameron Irvin, Emily Hickenbottom, Samuel Hensley, Dalton Horwittle, Keith Hoyle, Addison Cruzy, Levi Link, Courtney Oakman, Olivia Raymond, Tessa Reimolds, Katie Rodifer, Shane Shin, Ashanti Strange, Devin Suggett, Christopher Taylor, Mackay West, Alyssa Zarello. Please give these students a big round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Harrison, will you please come to the podium and present our top 10. The students we are about to recognize are the top 10 of the graduating class of 2022. 
In order to be considered for top 10 honors, a student must have completed 16 academic courses from the areas of English, math, social studies, science, or foreign language. These students have been involved in virtually every student organization we have here at Bushnell Prairie City High School. They have given unselfishly of their time and talents, and they have shown the way academically. Please come forward and receive your medallions from Dr. Dinger as your name is called. Hannah Brent, daughter of David and Holly Brent. Hannah has participated in FFA, Book Club, Drama Club, Illinois Club Pig Association, National Junior Swine Association, Choir and National Honor Society. Hannah has also served as the FFA chapter reporter, Bushnell Busy Bees 4-H treasurer, and class treasurer. Hannah's awards include Illinois FFA state degree, top 10 state livestock judging individual, silver placement at IJAS State Science Fair 2019, all district ILMEA choir, solo, and ensemble division one soloist, trio and ensemble, and section 11 ag sales proficiency. Hannah's future plans include attending Illinois Central College where, where she will major in radiology. <laughs> Emma Corsi, daughter of Mark Corsi and Jerry Walters and the late Casey Corsi. Emma has participated in basketball, volleyball, scholastic bowl, golf, band, 4-H, the CEO program, and FFA. She serves as the Green, Green Hand President for FFA and held the offices of Secretary and Vice President for the 2022 class. Emma's awards include placement in the top 10 at BBC and the Dean's List at Carl Sandburg College, and she received her associate's degree in the arts from Carl Sandburg this previous Wednesday. Emma's future's plans include attending Iowa State University where she will double major in animal science and Spanish with a concentration of pre-veterinary medicine. <laughs> Anna Curley, daughter of Dean Curley and Tessa Hobbs Curley. Anna has participated in basketball, golf, volleyball, FFA, student council, Interact Club, Varsity Club, FCA, and National Honor Society. Anna's other extracurriculars include 4-H, Federation MYF, National Junior Angus Association, Illinois Junior Angus Association, and Illinois Beef Association. Anna's awards include District 3 Proficiency Interview Winner, FFA Section 2, FFA Proficiency Interview Winner, Basketball Assist Leader, Chapter Star Farmer, VFW Essay Contest, and DAR Chapter Essay Contest winner, and she competed on the FFA Ag Issues National Team. Anna's scholarships include the Raritan Scholarship, Wolf Family Ag Scholarship, Walter and Doris Beers Scholarship, Tri-County Cattlemen Scholarship, DARJARA Kahlberg Scholarship, Ride and Farm Supply Scholarship, Rachel Hamilton Memorial Scholarship, Mother Moon Scholarship, and Illinois Animal Science 4-H Scholarship. <laughs> Hannah Eden, daughter of Dave and Deanna Eden. Hannah has participated in band, track, golf, book club, FCA, FFA, and Interact Club, where she acted as president. Hannah, Hannah's awards include the Christina Hornbaker Award. She plans on attending Western Illinois University in the fall where she will major in biology, medical sciences, and minor in psychology. <laughs> Sam Hensley, son of Chad and Jan Hensley, has participated in football, basketball, and FCA. He acted as the vice president of FFA and president of National Honor Society and the president of the Student Council. His awards include Illinois State Scholar and recognition in all-conference football and all-conference basketball. Sam's future plans are to attend the University of Illinois Engineering Technology and Management 
for agriculture systems. <laughs> Emily Hickenbottom, daughter of Eric and Haley Hickenbottom. Emily has participated in basketball, cross country, and cheer, and has acted as a class officer, class president, 4-H secretary, National Honor Society's vice president, and DARE role model, and the president, reporter, and historian for FFA. Emily is the winner of the Voice of Democracy essay contest and received the DAR Good Citizen Award. She has also won the DeKalb Agricultural Award. Her honors include the Compeer Financial Scholarship, Ryden Farm Scholarship, and Lodgman Leadership Scholarship, the ACES Scholarship, Beers Foundation Scholarship, Jerry Merrick Scholarship, Wolf Family Scholarship, FFA Alumni Scholarship, and the Rachel Hamilton Memorial Scholarship. Emily also received the Provost Scholarship from the University of Illinois, which will pay her tuition in full for the entirety of her undergraduate endeavor. Emily's future plans include attending the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign with a major in crop sciences. <laughs> Katie Rodifer, daughter of Todd and Michelle Rodifer. Katie has participated in band, color guard, FCA, and student council, where she held the office of secretary. In addition, Katie participated in volleyball all four years of high school, earning the title of captain, the four-year volleyball award, and most assists award three consecutive years. Katie's awards include the Alice Bennett Collar Kellogg Kinesiology Scholarship, the Marta Mounts Hayes Memorial Macomb Elks Number 1009 Scholarship, the Frank W. Banks Memorial Scholarship, and the Director's Award for Band. Katie's future plans include attending Western Illinois University to major in physical education with an endorsement in math. <laughs> Ashanti Strange, daughter of Tashina Strange and granddaughter of Kathy and Glenn Strange. Ashanti has participated in volleyball, softball, basketball, and band, where she acted as the drum major for the marching season. Ashanti also served as a Green Hand Officer and Treasurer for the FFA. Her other involvements include Student Council and Interact Club, where she served both as Treasurer. FCA, Lions Club, Varsity Club, Extreme Travel Softball, and National Honor Society. Ashanti's future plans include attending San Diego State University in California with an anticipated major in biology. Makai West, son of Rachel and Randy Guppy and Nick West. Makai has participated in basketball, FFA, and varsity club and served as a representative for the student council for the past three years. Makai's awards include the Presidential Award and Academic All-Conference Award. Makai's future plans include attending Spoon River College. He will be majoring in business with a minor in mathematics. Alyssa Zarello, daughter of Paul and Kelly Zarello. Alyssa has participated in basketball, golf, track, cross country, and volleyball. She has been a member of FFA and served as an officer for FCA and vice president of the student council. Alyssa's awards include the 12 Sport Athlete Award, Most Valuable Player, Defensive Player of the Year, Leading Scorer, and Most Rebounds for Basketball, and Most Improved for Golf. Alyssa's future plans include attending Spoon River College in Canton to play basketball. She will be majoring in physical education. <laughs> Please congratulate one more time your top 10. Top 10. <laughs> top 10, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce senior class president, Miss Emily Hickenbottom.
friends, family, guests, students, and administration, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the class of 2022. We appreciate all your everlasting support throughout our years of education. It feels like yesterday that we were walking these halls as freshmen with smiles just as big as our expectations. However, when we were sent home in the spring of our sophomore year due to the pandemic, many of those expectations were crushed. Our junior year of high school was by far one of the most challenging years of our high school experience. We went from experiencing everything to experiencing nothing at all. It was a constant struggle of difficulties, but we pushed through. Now, here we are, graduating from Bushnell Prairie City High School. As seniors, we have made the most of every moment this school year. The memories from this year and years prior are something of value to cherish and reminisce for years to come. Let us never forget when Hayden Brent left math class for Casey's run, and when I busted my head open in front of the entire student body. Let us never forget the homecoming weeks, sporting events, school activities, and proms we were fortunate enough to experience in high school. Most importantly, let us never forget the friendships we have established. Because years from now, we will look back and cherish those relationships. Even though our time here at BPC is ending, we will always have those memories. As we each go our separate ways in months to come and live out our successful lives, let us never forget our time spent together in this small town. May our time here be remembered by many and leave a legacy for those to come. Again, thank you to all who have been along for the ride with the class of 2022. And remember, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. Thank you and God bless. At this time, I would like to introduce valedictorian, Ms. Emma Quartzy. Good afternoon, and thanks to everyone for coming here today. With that, I'm going to keep this speech pretty short and sweet since it's a little hot in here. So from that, I would first like to say that I'm very honored to have been given the opportunity to present this speech and do not take this lightly. Uh, I believe academics are extremely important and find it especially honorable to be standing here before you today. Secondly, I would like to say thank you to the teachers, faculty, staff, and everyone who made this day possible. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Mr. Butcher. He has worked especially hard setting this day up, as well as making sure each one of us succeeds. I would now like to give an immense thank you to Dr. Dinger. She has worked around the clock to keep this school running and to make decisions in the best interest of the students. As well, she has supported me throughout my high school and is one of my biggest mentors and supporters. I truly do not believe I would be here today without her guidance and support. From that, I am very grateful for, for you and cannot thank you enough. Along with that, I owe a huge thanks to my parents and family for supporting me and pushing me to do my best work. More specifically, I owe an, an enormous thanks to my parents for never giving up on me with anything I've done. They've always worked hard to give me the best life possible, and I've looked up to them for all aspects of my life and will continue to look up to them in my future. As well, you guys have never allowed me to quit, doubt myself, or give up on my goals, and that means the world to me. Lastly, I want to wish the class of 2022 success in their future endeavors. I am thankful to have the past 12 years of my life spent with you in school and to have had the opportunity to grow up with such great classmates. Congratulations, class of 2022, and best of luck to each of you. At this time, I would like to introduce salutatorian Ms. Hannah Eden. Six million three hundred and seven thousand and two hundred minutes, four hundred and four four thousand three hundred and eighty days, twelve years. This is the time we've spent together, from arts and crafts and snack time, to school dances and sporting events, and to now graduation. We have so mem so many memories together, and even though we were short at a year of in-person learning, we're not walking away short on memories. 
I remember packing Lunchables for school trip and then trading our chips so we could have our favorites. I remember getting scraped knees and a few of us getting broken bones on the playground. The fun games we played, taking turns, jumping from the swings, getting soccer taken away a few too many times. <laughs> the playground held so many memories. Those tiny classrooms would, hold with our, would fill with our little echoes, memorizing songs for our dare graduation that remain embedded in our heads today, practicing our recorders, which I'm sure our parents loved. In junior high, we got to try new things. We got to go to our first school dances and we got to try out for sports. We always came together when it came to shouting the school song and we always walked away with the school spirit stick. Then came high school, Friday night lights, school clubs, new friends and new experiences. Having finals, homecoming week, new school club, participating in the Spartan Olympics. Even through all these events, even though all these events bring us together, it's time for us to move on with our lives. I'd like to thank all my classmates for creating all these memories, and I hope that we can hold them and hold them in our hearts for as long as we can. I'd also like to thank my close friends for encouraging me and creating bonds that will last forever. My parents for supporting me and encouraging me and for my teachers for teaching me and encouraging me to follow my dreams. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Student Council President, Mr. Sam Hensley, for his address and the passing of the Student Council gavel. Good afternoon. My name is Sam Hensley. I'm going to tell you a little bit of what I know about life, which is not very much. I have lived on a farm since I was very young with my parents and two older brothers. Over the last 17 years, I have enjoyed working on this farm with my family and friends. During this time, I have been taught a few things about life and the farm. One thing that has always stuck with me is to take pride in everything that I do. This is something that has always helped me through all aspects of my life. I also learned that work does not have to be painful and boring. It is as fun as you want to make it, and I like to have fun. One of my favorite things about working on the farm is the shop. Many nights of my high school years have been spent out in the shop, working on projects, learning new skills, and playing cards. I think that playing cards is a lost art. Many of my friends and I are doing our part to make sure it is not lost for this generation. I have spent hours with my friends in this hobby of mine. I have learned many things playing cards. I have learned to play the game with what I am dealt, never get too far ahead of myself, and know when to quit. A lot of these things are true for your life, and I found them to be true during school. In addition to the farm, Athletics have been an important part of my high school career. Football has always been my favorite. Sports have taught me teamwork and leadership skills and strengthened my competitive spirit that was started at an early age with my brothers. I always tried my best to succeed in sports, but really just wanted to outdo my brothers. Along the way, on the playing field and in the cornfield, I have learned how to work hard. Hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. Winston Churchill once said, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. But it is perhaps the end of the beginning. For the class of 2022, this graduation is just the end of the beginning. My time at BPC was fun, but I am more excited for what lies ahead. I think this is true for most of us. For some of us, this may mean college, the military, or just beginning our careers. We will go our separate ways to begin whatever path we have chosen in our life. I encourage each of you to take pride in what you do, have fun, play well with the hand you're dealt, know when to walk away, be a leader and a team player, and get out there and work hard.
At this time, will the next student council president, Ms. Kylie Norris, please come forward for the passing of the gavel. Do you, Kylie Norris, have, having been duly elected to the office of the Student Council of Bushnell Prairie City High School, accept the responsibilities and promise to perform to the best of your ability the duties of that office? I do. Will you endeavor to further the eff efforts of the Student Council and to uphold the worthy traditions and ideals of Bushnell Prairie City High School? I do. I now pass the Student Council gavel to you. As the newly elected president, I wish you luck and goodwill to serve the students of Bushnell Prairie City High School. Congratulations. <laughs> the band will now play a selection of music chosen by the senior band members.
At this time, I'd like to introduce Bushnell Prairie City School Board President, Mr. John McCleary. Congratulations, class of 2022. You've made it to the final day as a student at Bushnell Prairie City. You started off as Jaguars with ABCs and 123s, field trips, penny carnivals, class parties, and family nights. You moved on to the junior high. You became Braves, where you mastered your lockers, changed classes every hour, joined sports teams, and had school dances. And then, then you became Spartans. You started off as squeaky voiced little freshmen, intimidated by the hairy based upperclassmen. Your opportunities multiplied. More sports teams, FFA, drama club, choir, pep band, marching band, yearbook, homecoming weeks with float building, spirit days, and class competitions. Sophomore year, you're not the small kids in school anymore. You become comfortable with the routines and the upperclassmen. You get to leave campus for lunch. Then, fear of the unknown, cut your school year short. You really weren't sad about it at the time. Junior year, now you're the upperclassman. You're in and out of in-person and remote learning. Your social distancing in classes. Most school sanctioned events are canceled, but you adapted, you overcame, and you and your parents put on your own events outside of the school. Senior year, what it looked like would start as a more normal school year quickly changed. The mask remained, social distancing continued. But again, you adapted and you overcame and you persevered. Sports events were able to resume, albeit with those funny looking chin straps. Homecoming, act table, oh, homecoming activities were able to continue and a dance was held under the big top in the courtyard. Your patience and perseverance finally paid off. Second semester, the masks were off. The social distancing, no more. Awards nights, concerts, class plays, the Florida band trip, and even prom and promenade. Class of 2022, your need to adapt and overcome has not ended with this pandemic. Your life will be filled with moments and situations that will require your patience and perseverance. And for that, I think you'll all leave this building well equipped. Any of you who have attended a graduation in the last five years know how I'm going to end this speech. Thanks, Emily. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. But today I want to expand on that, on what I think that means. The memories you've made in these halls, in this gym, will be part of your core memories for the rest of your life. If and when you walk back in this gym and the smell of it hits your nose, Trust me, it'll always have the same scent. The memories of your time here will come flooding back. The antics you and your crew did in the student cheering sections, the homecoming day, walking, be, walking down the halls led by the marching band, the time you got pulled over at lunch, the time your classmate fell on her face, or maybe, and much to my dismay, for some of you, one of those core memories might be the absolute banger that Grant Braun threw the last weekend before your senior year started when his parents were off camping. So I'm going to do this a little differently this year. If you've taught in this building, were a student in this building, or graduated from this building, will you please stand up with me? Please remain standing. 
I, I want your help ending this speech how I always end it. So when I say, and everybody say, you're going to say, once a Spartan, always a Spartan, to the class of 22. So, so class of 22, go out and do great things. And I'll leave you with this. And everybody say, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. At this time, please welcome Dr. Kathy Dinger and Mr. John McCleary as they present the class of 2022, their diplomas, and Mr. David Arnold as he reads. Brian Bittner. <laughs> Levi Bradfield. <laughs> Grant Braun. Dwayne Brim. <laughs> Hannah Brent. <laughs> Hayden Brent. Jacob Brown. <laughs> William Brubaker. <laughs> Carol Carpenter. Emma Corsi. <laughs> Zeta Crandall. <laughs> Anna Curly Tiana Easley Avery Eddington
Hannah Eden. Cameron Irvin. Madison Gerard. Taylor Gustafson. Bailey Harn. Samuel Hensley. Emily Hickenbottom. Dalton Horwittle. <laughs> Keith Hoyle. Madison Cruzy. <laughs> Damian McKelvey. Nathan McClendon Bigger. <laughs> Courtney Oakman. Olivia Raymond. Tessa Rymolds. <laughs> Katie Rodifer. Angelica Voiles. <laughs> Elizabeth Sheppler.
Shane Shin. Ashanti Strange. Devin Suggett. Christopher Taylor. Caitlin Wallace. Kelsey Wallace. Devin Welsh. <laughs> Makai West. Jessa Yonke. And Alyssa Zarillo. Please welcome Dr. Kathy Dinger. Before we move on, would you please join me again in thanking our senior class sponsors, Ms. Melissa Reed, Mr. Andrew Kleesner, Mr. James Melvin, Mr. Chad Blair, Ms. Mackenzie Rico, and Mrs. Samantha Sherwood. Also, thank you to Mrs. Ferguson and the Bushnell Prairie City High School Band for the amazing music, and thank you, Mr. Arnold, for announcing. Today, seated before us is a group of young men and women who experienced great turmoil during most of their high school years. The same group of young men and women persevered through circumstances that none of us welcomed or were prepared for. They also sought opportunity, used resources available to them, and are taking all of the lessons learned here at Bushnell Prairie City High School into a bright future filled with anticipation and promise. Through it all, I have watched them honor themselves and their families as proud Spartans. Class of 2022, you have loved, worked, and played hard. I wish you success in achieving everything you seek as you leave Bushnell Prairie City High School. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some unsung heroes in our audience. If you are lucky enough to have them still standing in your corner, you are blessed indeed.
grandparents, could you please stand so we can recognize you and offer our appreciation? Please stay with me as we honor one more very important group before we move on to confirming our seniors. Could I please have all active duty service members and veterans please rise so that we can honor you and thank you for your service. Thank you. Seniors, if I could now ask all of you to stand. As the superintendent of schools and on behalf of the Bushnell Prairie City Board of Education, it is my honor and my privilege to affirm the students presented before you today and confirm that they have met the graduation requirements established by the Board of Education of Bushnell Prairie City High School and the state of Illinois and are eligible to have their graduation status confirmed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I present to you the Bushnell Prairie City High School graduating class of 2022. <laughs> 